You know that Bleed is the king of the status in Elden Ring, but what about if I tell you that I have the highest bleed damage that destroys in seconds? Welcome back guys to another Elden Ring video. Today I'm going to be introducing to you guys the best bleed build combo guide that I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do and what you have to do to be able to have the highest damage of bleed in Elden Ring. All the foes in the game are going to be so scared of you. If you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. And if you want to go the extra mile, well, a thanks is appreciated. So a while back, we introduced to you guys one of the best, 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 I have to say, bleed builds in the game. But today, I have the improved one. I have the 3.0. I have the latest and greatest of them all. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do to be able to have the highest damage. As you are able to see here in the footage, the highest damage that this bleed build is able to input on any foe and it is so scary because it makes the game it just practically breaks it so let's get started guys so first of all we are going to be using the bandit curve sword we fully leveled up the reason why we have it fully leveled up because we are going to be taking advantage of a couple of things and as i mentioned in the title the combination is going to be between this sword and of course a couple of actual wars that are going to make this weapon so potent and we also are going to be taking advantage of something that i love to use in elden ring that i believe is very very underrated and that is strength yes if you are able to put strength into your bleed build you are going to be breaking the game just like that guys so so like i said banded curved sword and on the first one we are going to use the bloody slash actual word and then on the second one we are going to use Supuko. Of course, both of them are going to have the blood loss infused in them because of the affinity that this two Ashes of War does to this weapon itself. No other Ashes War has the highest, highest, and I'm talking about guys, if you see that, causes blood loss buildup of 110. This two Ashes of War put together are potent, so strong, so strong. The make this bleed build so powerful. Then I'm going to give you guys two different type of choices. One is the gravel stone seal and the other one is the goss layer seal. I preferably probably will go with the gravel stone seal as it will help you guys out because it comes with the attributes required. Yes, a strength. And we are going to be building our build between strength and build and bleed making this very powerful. Now, on top of this, we are going to be using the white mask, which you guys already know, it infuses 10% additional damage for 10 seconds, which is pretty much an OP mask. If you, if you guys don't have this, all the links are going to be in the description for all the different type of guys that are going to help you get all the different type of items now next on top of this we are going to be taking advantage of a four different type of talismans one is going to be shard of alexander because we are going to be greatly boosting our attack power and then of course we are going to be using the rotten wing sword insignia if you guys don't have the, this one this is a must this is like water pretty much in Elden Ring. If you were to not drink water, you're pretty much are gonna die. But this one, it just takes advantage of what I'm showing you guys in this video of how this bleed bill works. It works so beautiful and so amazing. It deals so much damage, guys, as you guys are able to see here. And then also, we are going to be using Claw Talisman because this one enhances our jump attacks by 10%. So, with the Lord's Blood Exultation, which also says blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. And as you guys see this, all these four type of talismans are going to increase 
the power that we have within our bleed bill, making this the highest, guys, the highest combo bleed damage that destroys enemies in seconds. And this is so ridiculous, so broken. I don't know, maybe in the future <laughs> they will fix this up, but overall, it's just an amazing bleed build. Now, how do we even make this stronger? Now, like I've told you guys, I am using strength to make this bleed build work so wonderful. And if we are able to see the stats, you guys are seeing that one of them is going to be a strength, which is going to be 59 overall being my highest. And then we are going to be also using the blood boil aromatic because we are going to help our strength and make it even more potent by using this. And then we are also going to be using the Flask of Wondrous Physics. I have a couple of mixes in there. One of them is I'm going to be using the Strength Not Crystal Tear, which is going to temporarily boost my strength. And as I mentioned, I'm basing it on strength because strength is raw in Elden Ring. And anything that I'm able to boost it, the power is going to be even greater. And then I'm going to be using the Spigot Crack tier. This one will temporarily boost charge attacks power. And, I, and as you guys see, I'm using charge attacks because I'm going forward into any foe and trying to destroy them, giving me guys the highest bleed damage in Elden Ring. So let me show you guys one more time, quick sample of how this bleed build works in Pretty much the synergy of it is OP. So now you guys know how to put this together. All the links are going to be in the description that are going to be showing you guys where exactly you need to get all these type of different items. Once again, guys, let me know in the comment section what other combinations you guys want to see in a build. I would love to put that together for you guys. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.